kiddo. So today we're going to talk about what is chemistry. I know that for, for some of you all, it's a little bit into the year and you might be wondering, hey, great, what is this thing about? So chemistry is the study of matter. And so what you might be sort of asking yourself when you see a definition or you see something like that is what is matter? Well, remember, matter is essentially, I mean, the, the technical definition is that it's anything that has mass and takes up space. Um, and that's great that that is functional, but like, what does that really mean? Well, almost everything around you then is matter. You're made of matter. The air you're breathing is matter. The food you're eating is matter. Um, your house is made of matter. It's made of matter. It's made of things that have mass. They take up space. Um, the obvious question that then goes along with that is what is not matter? Um, and so, I mean, I could give you a ton of answers for that, but the simplest sort of one that works for science is that energy isn't really matter, although Einstein sort of shows that there's a relationship between those two things. And so when we talk about, um, when we talk about energy, we talk about joules later in the year, that doesn't qualify as matter. So more to, to get more specific then about like study of matter, what does that really mean? Because that's obviously a really broad topic. If, if almost everything is matter, then is chemistry the study of everything? And not necessarily. So we're going to narrow it down a little bit. So specifically, or narrowing it down a little bit, this is what we're going to talk about in chemistry as far as the study of matter. So we're going to talk about the composition, and I'm going to talk just briefly about that um, a little bit more in a minute. But composition, what is matter made of? Well, essentially for us, that comes down to atoms and the things that atoms are made up of. And we're not going to go down to the quarks, muons, stuff like that. That's more of a quantum physics thing. Um, but electrons, protons, neutrons, the atoms that those make up, and then those atoms are sort of the fundamental thing that we're going to use to discuss much of what's going on in chemistry. So that's the composition part. The structure of matter, meaning how do those atoms, how are they connected to one another? That would be bonding, obviously. But in what ways, um, in what different ways do those, the, 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 does the structure change um, what, the, what the compound is, what the substance does? Um, so that's the structure, and that matters a lot. How are things connected together? Um, the property. So what, what does it do? What's the melting point? What's the boiling point? How does it interact? Um, what is it used for? Those are the properties of those substances that we're going to talk about. Um, reactions. So if we're talking about atoms that make up molecules, you know, when they're bonded together into structures, um, how do those things interact with each other? And how they interact with each other is obviously what chemical reactions are going to be. You're going to have two things. They're going to start out. Um, they're going to, maybe you get two different things at the end. Maybe you got one thing that breaks into three. Maybe you got two things that combine into one. Those are reactions, the interactions between the atoms and the molecules. And then finally, we're going to discuss quite a bit about when we do, when we, when we talk about any of these other first four things, what's the relationship of those things to energy? So particularly for reactions, when reactions occur, do we have to put energy into it? Do we pull energy out of it? I mean, does it give off energy? All of those things, those are the heart of what we're going to talk about um, this year in chemistry. So I'm not going to break down each of those five things, but I want to real briefly go back to the idea of composition. What is matter made of? Well, we know today that matter is made up of atoms and that there are a bunch of elements. When you look at the periodic table, it's the periodic table of elements. If you see a periodic table of anything else like rock music or whatever, that's just a gross blasphemy against what the periodic table actually should be. So the periodic table is the periodic table of elements. Elements, and, and the idea of atoms and elements goes back to Greek times. The Greeks thought that there were four elements, that there was essentially fire, earth, uh, wind, and water, that those were the four elements that in some combination together would then make up everything else. Um, and a specific Greek named Democritus... Okay, it gets the credit for the idea of atoms or atomos. And what he said is that, the, uh, that elements, that they could probably be broken down into small particles that he termed atomos. And so that was sort of the, the like really fundamental way back in time beginning of atomic theory, which is obviously what we're going to spend some time on um, coming up. So Democritus comes up with the idea of atoms, and then we have the idea of, of elements that are sort of prevalent in Greek society as well. Now, 
if, if we look at that throughout the historical frame up until maybe the 15, 1600s, a lot of chemistry in the study of matter was done by dudes called alchemists. Um, and alchemists was, it was like this weird mixture of chemistry and like spirituality and mysticism. Their idea was they were, one of their fundamental ideas, they had a couple of them, but one of their fundamental ideas is they wanted to come up with something called the Philosopher's Stone um, that would do a couple of things. It might grant them immortality, longer life, um, and then they were also were looking for some means to transmute base metals like lead and iron and stuff like that into gold because obviously gold has always been really valuable. And so, but, but to do that, they developed a lot of the modern techniques that we would use in chemistry. They did distillations and they separated things out. And, and to some degree, they did some sort of studies of it. Now, of course, everything that they did, they sort of had some weird ideas about it. That there were some um, spirit mixed into it, and so there was a lot of mysticism, um, and so alchemy was like this thing shrouded in mystery, and, they, and, and in fact, alchemists didn't really want to share much of what they knew, because if they found something, they wanted to know it, so they could be the guy to get the gold, um, which obviously sort of runs counterintuitive of what modern science and modern chemistry would be. So that, that's the basics on the nature of chemistry, and of course, where we're going to start with the idea of atoms. In our next few videos, we're going to talk about what so great. So what do we know about atoms today? What do atoms look like? What's the model of atoms that we follow along with today? So thanks, kiddos.